we've just got a random box in the post. So as the intro stated, we just got a random box in the post. I'm not entirely sure what's inside it, but it does say live insects. Um, it's addressed to Northern Exotics, not my actual name. So it's someone from YouTube. It's got a return address on it, but no name. So well, let's open this box up and see what's inside it. So there it is then. We have got a couple of implements to help open the box. We can either use that, 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 that one, that one, or that one. Make your choice, which one should we use? The only thing I could possibly think this could be is, um, there was a, there's a reptile YouTube channel, uh, Gandalf. Uh, you've heard me mention her before. She's got a great little channel, does some great live streams and stuff like that. Um, and she's just done a 100 subscriber giveaway. And I think I actually won that one. So I'm just going to have a look in there. I'll be totally honest. I don't remember what the prize was. So uh, I'm not entirely sure. But let's have a little go and just see what we've got. But um, but um. Nothing's going to jump out at me, is it? What have we got? What? Well, there you go, guys. I was right. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, guys, check it out. <laughs> I've got a woolly. How cool is that? Little spinnerets on it and everything. Got a woolly. Check out the eyes. Googly, googly, googly. <laughs> That's absolutely awesome. I've got to find an absolutely cool place for that to sit. That's amazing. Wow. Sit down. Oh. Oh, God. What's... There's something else down there. Right. I'm just going to have to get me tongs for this, I think. Right now, just seen basically down there somewhere. I'll try and show you some like legs and stuff. So, um, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I thought whatever was in this had escaped and got out to there, but that's, <laughs> that's just scared the heebie-jeebies out of me. But I am going to have some fun with that. It's got a little clip on it as well, so uh, I'm going to have some fun with that. This is absolutely amazing. Thanks, Gandalf. Right, let's keep... I think that m may be it, but... Oh, packing peanuts. My worst nightmare. <laughs> Yeah, that's that. Right, let's get all this packing peanuts back in and see what's in the vial. So we're going to get looked over by Wooly. We need a name for Wooly McWooly Face. And that one. <laughs> They're going to watch us while we have a little flick on this. I'm not entirely. There we go. We've got a... got a vial with no name on it. So let's have a look. Got a load of cat's cup lying around, uh, just to see what this actually is, because I am absolutely petrified, and I don't particularly know exactly what it is. I think I've got an idea, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's move Wooly out of the way so you can focus on it a little bit better. And um, let's just have. Oh god! Right, so he's upside down on this piece here. Oh no, he's not. There he is. You see that, guys? We have got what looks like a Pokey Letheria regalis. So that went wrong. So basically, I'm gonna put this in there, put the lid on it, and we'll see what happens and just have a good look at it, I suppose. Let's hope it doesn't run off because I've got to go to work in a minute. Right. Lovely little fat bum on it. I cannot believe I dropped him. How stupid am I? That's, oh my God. I'm never gonna let myself live that one down. But let's get him out. Let's have a look and just see if he's okay after that ordeal. I'm one lucky son of a gun for that one, not flying out of there. 
Imagine if I would have lost him, if he would have bolted off. Oh, God. Right, let's get him out. And um, as you can see, I'm nowhere near a professional at getting tarantulas out of their little sling pots like this. For those sort of people that do do this all the time, you'd think it's rather comical. But we've got Wally watching over us, so uh, let's see how it goes. Wait there, if that bolts out of there, it's going to come straight to me. This tarantula must think it's like a little roller coaster spinning round in there. I'm um, spinning me right round. Um, we shall never speak of that again. I swear, Ron, one day I'm going to grow a pair and actually be able to do this without being so petrified. Hashtag grow a pair. Ah, oh, there he is, there he is. Oh my God, he looks stunning. Now that is absolutely amazing. So then we're gonna just put the lid on and uh, make up an enclosure for it. Let's go and build the enclosure. This is the enclosure. Just got to clean it. Hopefully get all the stickies off it. Let's get washed. Gotta stick some air holes in it. We've got the substrate, a mix of cocoa fibre, topsoil, a few other bits of bobs in there. Nothing special. We've added some springtails in there as well. And then we've just got to add some twigs and branches. I found these ones, they're quite cool, they're all twisty and whatever. That'll work, let's put it together. So we're gonna get this one. Go. Something like that. Or like that. Or, oh God, like that, there we go. This one, to support that one. Like, oh, that fell apart. There, we got them together. Now, this fancy curly piece can just go quite simply like that. I'll try and push it down to make it a little bit more secure. There we go. This one random piece can go down here, just sticking up. And then we've got this last little piece, just a dead thin piece, which I'm hoping it'll just stab straight into the substrate. And it failed. But that's that, let's get the tarantula in now. Tarantula's in here, somewhere. Oh yeah, I can see him. So I'm gonna take the lid off, use that as a catch cup. Got the tweezers, which I'm hoping he can just attach himself to this, which he hasn't. Let's show you him. There we go, we got him in. Now the light's a bit terrible, you can't really see it reflecting, but he is down there in the middle, and I'll keep you updated on him. I'm hoping to see him climb up, he'll be around and about and up the edges and everything. 
Uh, within the next hour, he's going to start exploring and stuff. I'm going to get him into a dark area of the room just to so sort of make him a little bit more comfortable. And uh, this is what's happened with him. Settled in nicely after his ordeal of an unboxing. God, I need to get better at that. <laughs> 